Alright, hello everybody. Here we are. Me and James, someone with the girly gloves. There he is over there. Look. Just on my first hole. And we have a coin ball. So let's see what we've got. It's not a coin ball. It's looks like a bit off of a ruler. Oh, it's a find. Right, see you in a bit. Right, I love that one. I'm trying to learn. I might dig on this one. Not if you can see the tone there. Chip Apney, 1943. Come on, how about that for a live dig? <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Here's James doing a live dig. Don't get excited. <laughs> oh, we're not, don't worry. <laughs> right, we're coming out to plant some petunias today. <laughs> Gloves on. Fucking men don't wear gloves. <laughs> Real men are monkey nails. <laughs> this man said it was a fucking silver or gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> Irony. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. That were deep for a Euro Ace. Nice little buckle. Especially in dry conditions, isn't it? Mm. Put your points in it all. Let's have a look how deep we are. I hope I've more. It's a good 10 inch that. Yeah. I bet it's a fastener off it. A little bit. Nice one. Got ten inches as well. That. Well, they're nine, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. Oh, I've got a little. So you say this is all gay? Look, it's even got measurements on it. That's when it's feeling a bit low by itself, and he wants to measure his manhood. <laughs> Till he comes to it. <laughs> That's balls like that. <laughs>
Where is it? Not up there somewhere. Oh. It's in here. It's there, look. Oh, nice one. An old sort of cloth seal, bag seal, something like that. Don't know what it says on it. I don't know what it says on it. I'll clean it up, I'll have a look when I get one. See in a bit. James has just got this. First bit of silver. It's 85 I think. He has to hand all this silver and gold finds in it end of the day. I don't know if you know that. I'll <laughs> see in a bit. Here's just some of James's finds. Not from today. Cartwheel penny. Very nice. Yeah. Have a look at his ammy next. Is there an ammy? Cut half? What was this one, do you know? Uh, that's Enrique's bird. I think it's 1200 and summer. Right, yeah. Nice one. That's uh, <laughs> Edward. Edward III. I can't believe that. A big crack across that. That's nice, that one, isn't it? Yeah, it would have been. <laughs> Didn't go through it with a spade. <laughs> <laughs> We're not telling you about it. <laughs> is that another rabbit? Yeah, a couple of trade tokens. I can't work out what that one is. Jettons, aren't they? Some, uh, well, th uh, this is a definite trade token, this oh, one. Right. I've traced this one back to Bortry. Uh, this one's 1640 something. You know what, whenever I hold a coin it don't, coin, it don't focus right, these are all coming out mint. Another. Cost the proper coins, that's what I think. <laughs> 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 that were in it, another hammered where I found, but there's no left of it. You can just see a bit of... One cost on it, yeah. it? So how many hammers you got then, three? I've got three silver and two, and trade. two of them. And that's a uh, mint condition George. George the... Oh, All right, no six penny. Yeah. It's the nicest one I've found. They only did them in two years, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. There we go. Condition of that. Whenever I get one of these, a gnarled up. Yeah, that's the best one I've had. 1806. Nice one. Nice that. They're James's best finds, I think. Yeah. Spot on. And my next find out that hole there. A modern one pound coin. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. What we're going to do is ploughed field, but we've been today and it's turned it into trenches. <laughs> it's deep as hell. So a couple of foxes down there. They've been a cracking shot with rifle. I mean, no good for you, this field can Definitely get lost down them rivets. Rivets? Divots? You know what I mean. The sun's gone to me. Alright, so my next sign here. It's copper. Or brass or bronze. Looks like a bit of an old brooch. Don't know. Alright, I'll we'll see you in a bit. Next sign. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Like it used to be part of an old bowl. Got the nice markings on it. That's the inside obviously. Strange. Right, I'll we'll see you in a bit. How much of a girl he is, look. He's got fecking pink shoes. <laughs> They're James as well. Right, next sign. Right, that all there. A big old buckle. Right, I'll we'll see you in a bit. Right, next sign. Just slip that sod back. See that imprint there? Thanks. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Oh, 
and more than one pence. Alright, <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Alright, next time, that all there. An old ten pence piece. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, next find. A George Five Penny. I just scratched L out at back. Oh, 1921, I think it is. There we go. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, next find. Another George Five Penny. What condition are that? 1920. Come on, zoom in. Why can I never find the fucking spoon? Have you? No, I can never find the fuller. Oh, is it a pewter one? Mm, yeah. James are just complaining because they only ever find bits of spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, next sign out that hole. 1958 half crown. I'm just not meant to get any silver today, mate. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. <coughs> Alright, next sign. Some sort of lead weight. Got an iron core. You got something shiny? Yeah. Right, two minutes, we'll just go see what this Robin gets got. <laughs> Fetch him on my land and he keeps taking all my fucking silver. <laughs> Is it silver? Yeah. Six months, I think. Again? It would appear so. You're bad. <laughs> well, I've done well, I've got no, no silver today and I've got two. 1911. Proper one. Nice one. There, yeah, that's what a twat looks like. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I've just dug this hole here. No idea what that oh. No idea what that is. You just see it outlining some dude. Facing to the left. Not a clue what it is. Right, yeah, we'll check it when we get on and have a look. Let me George too. Right. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Right, that hole there, I've just had this out of it. Looks to me like a Charles. Two minutes, which way is it going? Right. Charles 2, I think. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, welcome to the roundup. Uh, uh, all my bits of copper. Uh, bits of crap. Bits of crap. More crap. A squashed pigeon ring. Uh, all these are the bits of lead. Plenty of bits of lead. Don't know what that is. A bit of iron. Two massive iron buckles. Uh, what have got here? Right, this what? The first one of the live digs. It's a cloth seal, I think. Come on, focus. It has got writing on it, but I can't really make it out. <coughs> uh, a 
a button. Quite like this bit. An old pot or something. Um, I think that's a bit of an old brooch. It's copper. Yeah. A modern penny. A modern quid. A tempe. That's an old half crown. It is an half crown. <laughs> <coughs> and these are the good oldies. 1920, 1921. That's a ship apney that I got on a live dig. 1944 or 43. Oh, sugar. Right, this one is. That's a Charles. These were my two live dig finds. Ship open it and a cloth seal. Right, see you in a bit. <coughs> Good luck, happy hunting. Don't forget to join us on Facebook called Digging History. Well, uh, see you in a bit. Good luck. Happy hunting. Nearly forgot. I would just like to do a quick thank you to Carl and Caroline. They sent me these lovely bracelets for Chloe, a little girl. Some nice people about, isn't there? Absolutely stunning. And Caroline found this one. Thrilled to be with you. Thank you very much, you too. I'll talk to you both soon. I've got to leave you with them. <coughs> right, see you in a bit, everybody. <coughs>